hello 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 beloved and welcome back to my channel it's a girl mystic journey divine coming to you with another inspirational message for you on this beautiful wednesday the sun is shining spirits are high i'm here you are here we are doing what we do I've already shuffled my decks because I can shuffle for hours. <laughs> and you don't want to see all that. Let's go right to the tea, huh? Tea, wine, coffee, whatever you need. I myself prefer It is a energetic organic blend of hibiscus, orange juice, and some other things. Gives me energy in the morning, hydrates me, lowers blood pressure. Hibiscus is known to have that healing quality, amongst other things. I am a root worker, a holistic wellness coach. I do all things natural, all things organic, all things wellness is the key. Okay, spirit. I have no agenda for this message. We're going to channel. Mm. Somebody has a lot to say, beloved. Somebody has a lot to say. But Spirit, we can't take all those. Can we get them in smaller proportions? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Let's see. What Spirit has to say to our watchers, our beloveds, our viewers, you and me. Excuse me. Those fell. I would take them, but I won't. I need them. land decisively. Okay, Spirit. My energy today is very high. A little bit aggressive. Possibly the reason why my cars have been flying all over the place this morning. Work with me, Spirit. Maybe I need to slow down. Take my time. Maybe Spirit is telling me to get outside and unwind, smell the roses. Is that a message for you? Are you working too, mar too much, too hard? Are you not living, loving, playing? you desire more fun in your life, more adventure, a new, okay, spirit, whoo, okay, we're going to see what's going on here. I've got a lot. Somebody has a lot they want to say. And we're going to find out what that is. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if y'all can hear me burp burping on camera. <laughs> 
when I channel I bell to that. I don't know what that is. Spirit getting in me. Air being okay. Let's make some room here. For we got a lot of cars that popped out. Okay, let me have a minute to look over. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. First thing I see, love is caught in reverse. Someone surely has a lot to say. Someone's been abandoned, rejected, left, walked away from. We got the love is caught in reverse. But we also have the five of swords in reverse. Letting me know that the end to this relationship was the best decision you made or you could make or be making. An end to all the challenges, all the fights, all the blockages, all the stagnation will be over if you get out of this relationship. It's apparently not blessed by the divine, maybe toxic. You decide. But Spirit says, it's time. It's time for you to stop juggling between decisions Weighing the facts over and over and over and over again in your head when you know what needs to be done. Let's see. We have a King of Swords in reverse. We have a Knight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Cups in the upright. So, Put this in order. Someone who loves you. This night of cups. This person could be younger than you. Maybe by little, maybe by more. They are no longer willing to come in. They've given up the fight. They've given up the battle. They've given up. They don't want to fight anymore. This King of Cups. This ex. This love is in reverse. They don't want to fight anymore. They've given up. You've got the five of swords in reverse. You've got the five of wands in reverse. They don't want to fight anymore. Possibly, 
they're ready to make amends, to talk, to explain. They're tired of going over in their head about unresolved issues with you. Causing stagnation in their lives, causing them to not sleep well, not think well. You may have an ex, an ex lover. In this season of love, February, year of reveal, seven. Maybe deciding to put down the sword. Put down the wand. Stop trying to manifest you in a negative way. Stop being immature and growing up. Maybe they're going through an awakening. Maybe they're watching you. And you've inspired them to be different. So now, they want to speak, they want to communicate, they want to talk with you, possibly about building a new future, they want to fight for you, they love you, yes, they made a lot of mistakes. But they're juggling in their head back and forth about how, when, and where to approach you. What do they say? Can they really say anything that don't make a change? They're tired of spending nights alone. Days alone. Being alone. They don't trust the people they're around, that they're with. They trusted you, although they didn't act like it. Now they know. They want to celebrate something with you. They want to celebrate something with you. Not sure what that is. Also... Let's see... There's been a relationship that ended. It's done and it's over. But you keep going back and forth in your head. Although you know it's done and over. Thinking about times when you were together, when you celebrated... When family was important, thinking about everything that used to be part of this relationship that no longer is. You may be licking your wounds at this time, feeling sorry for yourself, wondering what's next. Where do I go from here? Because you want better. You want more. You're willing to fight for your happiness. Spirit says, go within. Search within. What do you want? What do you really want? Do you even know? This, that, the other. It's time to make a decision. Based on who you are and where you are. About what is best for you and your future. Spirit has removed those challenges, those blockages, those obstacles, any spell work or negative energy being sent your way has been removed and resent. Spirit tells you, I've opened up the doorway to possibilities. 
and giving you a clean slate in which to build newness from. Stop looking back. Stop going backwards. Stop considering it. That person was immature, not giving equally, not committing. Held their heart hostage in the gate of protection, never giving you their all. Their relationship was lacking. There was love for each other, yes. But what is love if it's not enough to sustain the rest? Love builds, it grows, it doesn't compete and defeat its lover. But that's the kind of relationship you were in. One of deception of the heart of finances all around. I see immaturity when it comes to money. I see immaturity when it comes to love. I see immaturity when it comes to building and providing and doing. This is the person you were with. You are the king of cups. Master of emotions. Grounded, centered. Unmovable. Unstoppable, intentional, intuitive, highly nurturing. That is you. And it can be a female in her King Cups energy after going through a long period of fight. You found the masculine in you. That protected the queen in you. And thus you survived. You learn to balance your duality of self. You went within. It's time for self-reflection and self-study, self-education, learning. Mentorship, maybe. Maybe when you join a class, a coven, seek a mentor. It's time for higher elevation. It's time to reach higher. Seek out more. More knowledge. More wisdom. Wisdom of self. It's time to start focusing on what was lost. And what is no longer. It's time to start focusing on building. Building. Manifesting. Reevaluate your desires and refocus your energy. Get out of your emotions and get into your intuition. It will steer you in the right direction and never fail you. And you will find equal re reciprocal healing, supportive love. You have a new New outlook, new future, new goals. You're focused on forging ahead, or you should be. The year's just starting, there's so much left. You should be focusing on creating, manifesting, growing. Fertility. You should be focused on what is best for you in your life. What will fulfill it? What will complete it? What do you need to instill within yourself? Today's reading, the early energy pull was courage. It was courage. It also was receive. I allow myself to love and to be loved. 
well. Not just by any old thing. Not by immaturity. Not by indecisive people. Not by people who won't come with the truth. Forthcoming. Open. Honest. Transparency. Giving. Yes, it was much lost. We're going from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. You're moving up. Your finances, your prosperity, your fertility, your growth is looking up positively. Everything you desire, all of your cups. You are the magician. You can conjure up whatever you need simply by believing and moving in that belief. Let go of pride. Let go of judgment of others. Let go of the need. Excuse me. Let go of the need to be validated. For your choices. Honor your decisions. With confidence. This is your life. Take control of it. You'll be celebrating something soon. Whether it be a family get together. A graduation. We know it's. Graduation season, coming in proms, anniversary, birthdays. You'll be celebrating very soon something, an achievement. Something you've been looking forward to. Something you've been working on, you've been trying to build. It's soon about to go from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine. If it's been coming in slow and steady, that will begin to increase and you will notice. So it says this is not the time to slow down. This is the time to go at it, even if you have to do it alone. Forge ahead into the unknown. Believe that when you arrive at your destiny, your when you arrive at your destiny, when you arrive at when you arrive, you are you going somewhere at this moment? Driving. Possibly watching videos. Traveling. You may be traveling soon or planning to travel soon. Spirit says there may be challenges that you may face in doing so. But you're built for it. Yes? So do it anyway. It may be scary. Be unknown, be unexperienced, be less traveled. <laughs> Do it anyway. And watch it be the best decision you ever made to do it, to do something, to do more, to build, to create, to stack, to give and receive. Have the courage. Have the courage to go forth into uncharted waters, unsteady seas. Spirit will ease it for you. Yes? You will find that suddenly everything that was a burden is now burden free because you moved and you believed. Stop fighting your destiny. 
by constantly overthinking it, overstating it, overseeing it. We just let it be. Live out loud. Be playful. Be courageous. Try new things. Seek new things. People, places, and things. Have fun. Enjoy life. Celebrate everything that you've gone through that you survived and overcome. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate the small wins. The milestones that you made in your life to get you to this place. There may be a king of cups that wants to celebrate with you. That wants to help you go from eight of pentacles to nine of pentacles. That's journeying towards you. Wanting to fight for your love. Planning at this very moment about how to bring growth to this relationship so that they can give you everything you desire. Yes, this person may be younger. Yes, this person may be less experienced. They may also have less resources, which is why maybe they're juggling how, when, where and they will come forth. But they know without you, they're not happy. You have the lovers in reverse. They want you. They're contemplating. They've given up the battle and the fight. Like I said, they don't want to fight. They don't want to bicker. They don't want to scuffle. They want peace. They want to talk. They want to walk. They want to show you things. Maybe there's been time in between. Or you haven't experienced anything yet together. And they have things they want to show you. They want to give you. They want to provide for you. Yes, they have much to learn to be able to do so. But will you allow them the time to grow? Only fools rush in. Will you allow them to go slow and steady? Are you in a rush to have what was lost replaced that you've forgotten that love is slow and still and steady? It has no agenda. It follows no map, no plan. It just is. Spirit says, take your time. Slow down. Think about it. Make the right decisions based on your needs. But to consider others in that decision making. Don't be selfish. Get thinking about only getting what you need. Not being willing to give, only to receive. Is a recipe for failure. Indeed. To be willing. To love. And be loved. Be cautious. To healthy boundaries. Because everyone coming in this season. Is hungry. Cuffing season. Is ending. And now it's. Let my hair down. Go wild. Explore season. Everybody's not looking for a commitment. Permanence. Decide if you are. Or if you just want to experience. And then be okay. Better. Secure. About your decision. You want a whole season? Girlfriend, go for it. You ain't the first or the last. Have it your way. Fellas, you want to try some new? But you don't want to commit? 
You're not sure if today's women are going to go for that. Don't stop until you find someone that does match your energy and your level of commitment, whether it's low or high. But don't deceive. Don't lie. Steal, cheat. Hide. Because you just want to get and not give and then go ghost. Because karma loves to feed off of that. And you best believe it'll come looking. And you'll patiently wait until the very exact moment that is not expected. And it will show up. So, be mindful of how you treat others when you're trying to treat yourself well. People are not to be tools for your advancement in any way. People are to be complimentary. Equally across the board. Okay, spirit. I'm going to pull some oracle cards from my star seed oracle deck because I was inspired to do so. Mm. Something itching me. Excuse me. <laughs> this is real life right here. Okay, spirit. Be to our beloved. My, let me tell you, boy, that exploded and scared my door. Cool lane. <laughs> Thank you, but I need my card. Okay. I need to go out and get grounded. <laughs> my energy is high today. My body temperature is high. I am on fire. Although, I'm not sweating. It's all internal. I know it's spirit. Okay, spirit. Slow me down. Two cards for our beloved. Okay, spirit. Maybe the cards are kind of sticky because they're falling out in bulk. I may need to shuffle them more to loosen them up. Are you telling me not to use this deck, spirit? <laughs> okay. That same group of cards that fell out three times, I'm going to take it. I needed three but we got four. Because one fell out by itself. These three together complementing each other. I would surely take them. Let's read the individual message first. We have jump in. If I didn't say that, what did I say, beloved? The premise of my whole reading is to take a chance. Take a risk. Get in the game. Explore. Be playful. Experience newness. Live your life. Love hard. Jump in. Andromeda in energy. Adventure. Say yes to change. I ain't going to explain that to you because that's self-explanatory. I just said all that before the car came out. So there it is. Confirmation. Say yes to change. He has to change within self, not as within. So that change begins here first, before it's ever manifested in the outward life. See, yes, the change is within you. 
change of mindset, change of heart, change of direction, change of choices, change of experience, change of self. You are becoming beloved. Become. Become. Adventure is the word I see. Seek adventure. I ain't going to go over there because the Spirit giving me some. But I'm going to keep it PG. Grown people. It's adventure time. Have it your way. Karmic relationships. Lovers part in reverse. Immaturity. Younger. Lack of balance. Lack of planning. Overly emotional. We mentioned that. With the lovers caught in reverse. That this may have been your partner. Or you. I doubt, I doubt it though. I doubt it's you. It may be. We have the Orion energy. Polarity. Polarity. Two ends, two opposites of the same linear line. Polarity. Night and day. Sun and moon. Sky and land. Black or white. Man and woman. God and me. Polarity. Equally balanced. Cannot be one without the other. Polarity. Equal reciprocity. Soul growth and conflict. Spirit saying, well, let's take the other two cards and then we'll explain the message. The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. And the third card, messenger. <laughs> Cyrus, serious energy. S-I-R-I-U-S, serious energy. You know, on your phone, you go, hey, Siri, and it speaks, and it hears, and it knows. Serious energy. Bringing harmony and balance. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Karmic relationships. If you're currently in a karmic relationship, whether it be a mate, a lover, a friend, a sibling, a parent, a teacher, a mentor, a group, on the job, wherever it may be, Spirit is saying, this is not the time to indulge and engage in such things. You are going through a spiritual awakening, beloved. You're embodying the moment of energetic clearing. There's no room for baggage, toxicity, competition, challenges, jealousy, envy, revenge, hate at this time. You're being molded. And metamorphosize and change, and karmic relationships only trigger you to go back to the, that which you have fought to come from. But if you place yourself in these relationships, even on your intuition and your discernment, it's telling you that they're not for your wellness, for your highest good, because of emotional ties and trauma bonding connections. 
then surely you have more work to do. But as your messenger, your guide on this channel, you're serious. Hello, serious. That is me. I hear you. And I'm answering. Spirit says, walk away from those karmic afflictions. Make distance between yourself and them. Enough that they can no longer reach you, stop you, move you, deter you. You see how they're on two totally different planets standing? That much distance. Don't go backwards. Don't allow yourself to be manipulated into being who you were because misery loves company and they miss you and your low vibrational energy. You're more than that. You're stronger than that. That devil energy, bring a death to it. Place judgment on its head. Justice, balance. Justice is balanced. It's in agreement with each other. It's clarity. Focus on your alignment, your balance, removing the blockages, removing the blockages. People, places, and things, because this is not the time. You are now in the season of ascension, yes? Stop returning to the old things. They belittled you. They ignored you. They mistreated you. They abused you mentally, physically, and emotionally because of their own insecurities about who you are and what you will become. You are now becoming that which you are meant to be. Going through an awakening. You're going through an open portal. The door has been opened. You have manifested this in your ritual work. With the matter whether you spoke it or you conjured it, you are now being activated. Receiving downloads from the universe. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to what others say. Actively listen and stand in your stillness. Learn to be quiet in the room. Learn to watch and listen and be guided. Spirit is telling you it's time to integrate that which only aligns with your wellness. You may not believe you are awakening. You may not feel like you were sending because life around you doesn't seem to be changing all that much. You still want, you still need, you still desire for many things for stability. But this card says spontaneous awakening. You're about to be jolted into a new world, a new life, a new skin. You will see everything differently with new eyes. I know during this recent awakening, most of us diviners complained about blurry vision. I thought it was part of menopause or peri. Menopause. I'm not for menopause yet. Okay. It is what it is. Days. <laughs> Blurry vision. I could. There were days I couldn't see. And I knew it couldn't be overnight that I aged that quickly. My eyes were being changed. Learning to refocus. 
bring to true be seed. So I let it happen without panic, with faith that nothing could hurt me or come against me. So I waited. And one day I woke up and the room was bright. Tur, flick the lights off. I could see better in the dark. And I liked it. I liked the feeling of knowing that nothing could be hidden. Awaken, integration, ascension, allowing, surrendering. Spirit is telling you let it be. Let me do what I do and you do what you do. You live happy and free. I will take care of the rest. I will line it up. I will send you your purpose daily. You ain't got to look or perceive or wonder or be confused. Every day you surrender. I will send you your purpose willfully. And you will see it and know it and achieve it with ease. Because you allowed, you surrendered, and you've been changed. Oh my God, come through with spirit. What did I just say, collective? I surrender my life to the will of a higher power and trust that my life is divinely guided. I say, I say, I say, my oracle deck, my cards, get you some. Change your life. Sometimes I'm in awe of my own self. Push through. On days that I feel unmotivated, I will push through and get my work done. Now I'm going to let you know, today was one of those days for me. I woke up in all this energy, running, washing dishes, washing clothes, clean. I was on the move. But then when it came to this, I was like, mm, do, I, do I or do I wait till later? Because all this energy is already being expelled in other areas. Maybe I'm to refocus on my daily agenda. But no, honey, that wasn't nothing but the devil telling me, not this morning. You won't speak today. Not this time. Change how you do it, when you do it. So that you can get all balanced and off centered. Don't do the routine. Don't do your rituals. Just be all over the place. Let. No. I got grounded. I refocused. Yes, the aggression energy is still there, as you can see in my shuffling. But I'm here. I'm ready. I showed up for myself, for you. Because that's what spirit wants me to do. And I'm obedient to my purpose. Yes. It's not always comfortable. It's not always designed perfectly. It's not always. But it's always. Rewarding. Once I'm in. I'm glad I showed up. The feeling comes over me and I'm glad to be here with you tap 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 the like button please beautiful beloved one please tap the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like I would love to have you again in my den I would love to communicate with you energetically feel you 
manifest a word with you again and again and again. Because I don't know you. I know of you. I know about you. I've experienced you and your energy. If you're on this channel, I have. So, yes. You are my friend. Yes. From over there. <laughs> I still appreciate you for showing up for me. For supporting the channel. For hitting the likes, the shares, comments. Oh, the beautiful comments. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate them. I love them. I need them. Keep them coming. They not. They don't go unseen. If I miss the spirit sees you, remember who's really watching. How you move. 